So it's time to pick up my new shell. Guys, which one would you like me to use? This one? That's a good one! Maybe this one. Or maybe this one. <laughs> yes, I'm at uh, CG Motorsport. Cool place. They build cars for sprints and hill climbs and stuff like that. And uh, as it happens, has plenty of shells. So this one is mine. Meet Novi V. I'm not going to give you the name because I am not sure whether this video is going to come out before I reveal which engine I'm going to have in this. But as you can see, it's basically a shell. I don't need anything else from it because I have all the parts already. It has doors, windscreen, which is obviously has to come out because we are putting one of my sexy carbon roofs. By the way, I will leave a link in the description where you can see one. I do make them, they are expensive, they take too much time, so please do not order one because I don't have time to make them. Yeah, it comes with a pool, absolutely love it. <laughs> the shell has been uh, sitting here under the cover, it's not rusted in any way and obviously Bob had to uh, pull it out in the last couple of days, uh, get it ready for me to pick it up, so it's been raining, so it just accumulated, but I don't care about that because the whole boot is getting chopped out. Um, so yeah, and he has a really cheeky blue cup sitting in there, getting, getting built for hill climbs. So, let's put it on the trailer, take it to the workshop and um, let this build officially commence. Back at base. Now we just need to have a look at this shell in more detail. There's nothing to it, as I said. It's literally a shell and it's perfect because I don't need to spend time trying to sell and flog the old interiors and bits and pieces, whatever. This thing was cheap, cheerful and exactly what we need because it has no rust. If you look on here, already inspected sort of the seal the usual sort of places inside where rust nothing zero so the plan with this one before we take it to sean gosling racing for the cage which by the way is going to be a collaboration me and sean together so it's my design well our design because obviously he knows all of his things he's been doing this for quite a while and if you check out his website of course i'm going to leave a cheeky link in the description um, he specializes in cages essentially and um, slider kits so it's a lot easy for you guys to fit aftermarket seats into your race cars or even street cars so check him out there will be a lot more videos and you'll see a lot more of him and I'll show you his products the guy is amazing anyways so before I take it there obviously it's easier to just do a little bit of prep here so the roof lining needs to come out and then all the unused brackets like this because we are not using any of that that's going to have to be removed and the usual sort of sound deadening i'm going to be removing that and i'll probably show you how to do it the easiest way that i found so far because i've tried it on the previous novi point one shell um with dry eyes i'll probably make a video so you guys know because there's always quite a few questions on how to do this all so oh, let me climb out so yeah there's literally nothing in here we'll chop the majority of big things in his garage but i will obviously remove all of this trash none of this needs to be all the brackets those things uh, sliders we're obviously making our own so that get, i'm gonna remove now then obviously all the sound deadening the, the doors I'm gonna remove because we don't need them at the front here literally just clean up so take all of this off all of the brackets so it's literally just a metal metal frame and I'm gonna go to town with cleaning it hey some of you guys who like to polish your cars probably noticed that I don't do any of that kind of stuff I am totally against cleaning and polishing and all that it's just not my thing uh, but maybe because I haven't been sponsored by the likes of Auto Finesse or something like that. So yeah, guys, if you want to, you know, 
convert Rusky into washing his cars, uh, please do get in, 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 in contact. Anyways, pressure wash the whole thing because obviously underneath it's never been touched and it will be nicer to work on the car when it's clean. So pressure wash the whole thing just so it's clean. Ah, oh, look at this guy sitting here feeling sorry for himself. Well, he doesn't. He knows what's, he knows what's coming. Um, quite excited because now I have to move this shell out of here because actually I'm getting a Fiesta coming here in a couple of days because I'm making three carbon roofs for that. And of course, before you ask, I will make a video of how to make another carbon roof from scratch, including the mold, the proper way. Um, if you do get bored, leave me the comment in the section. Say, Rusky, we don't want to see any more carbon stuff from you, so stop posting it. Probably not going to happen because I really love doing it. So, this thing temporarily will move into here. Ta-da! Everything is getting a little bit out of hand and I already got some stick from the wife. As lovely as she is, she only has this much sort of left in her with my hoarding of cars and tires so yeah look at this it's um seven by 3.7 meters temporary garage would you like to see how we made it super easy i'm not sponsored by them made by clark super cheap and it was almost a no-brainer just as a storage obviously you know what in summer that could be actually a nice little workshop just put some lights and whatever in winter obviously it will be cold because it's one of those and the beautiful thing sound like a salesman don't i believe me i'm not associated with clark yet clark if you want to machine mart that's where we're, yeah anyways you know what hit me up if you want to send me some free product anyways would you like to see how this thing has been erected and simple as you can see a clear that was supposed to be a giveaway car which I decided not to will be fixed and probably will be sold closer to springtime so if you are in a, in the market for a Clio do not uh, text me just yet because it's not ready anyways so the shell the Novi version 2.0 as it is now is gonna go into here temporarily because there's no space, like I said, I need that garage for a Fiesta to make the roof. And that shell outside is gonna be there for maybe a week. And then we're taking it to Sean Gosling. The grid, I'm not quite sure how. I'll need to ask him how I want to, how he would like me to refer to his business, his enterprise, whether by his name, Sean Gosling Racing, or the grid, or whatnot. Anyway, so here's the plan. Let's move the shell. With help of those little uh, munchkins, uh, this thing is here, probably in its last racing, not racing, resting place. Um, I know it's a bit sad. I know I heard from some people like, oh, you're starting a new shell. It's not Novi anymore. Yes, it is. It's the same shell as in even the same color, same car. And I'll be able to transfer many things from this one to the new one to make it like an old one. 
Same thing goes for the body panels. As soon as you remove body panels and it has less original body panels than original car, is it even the same car? Anyways, it is what it is. It has to be done and you have to agree with me guys, starting from fresh, from a new shell to make it better, faster, light and just more badass is the right move. So here we are guys. I do apologize. I have like three videos of fabrication, the air dam, the splitter tunnels, a few other things that I haven't had time to edit. There's been a lot of going on, a lot going on behind the scenes with plants and getting this shell and that shell and this and that and obviously a little bit of work because sometimes we have to make money. <sighs> I will upload them. So this Sunday update is just something for you to see what has been going on and that I'm actually serious. So now that the garage is empty, all I have to do is just clean this all up and this can become sort of a composite studio as you, if you will so the fiesta is coming on tuesday i will make a, a proper video how to make a roof carbon roof we're going to make a mold first then the roof and all that so all of this is going to happen here in the next couple of weeks plenty of space put a little heater insulate the the doors just so we can raise the temperature up this thing needs to be disassembled because i may have sold the dry sump already um may have um so yeah guys thank you let's keep it nice and short probably not very short and i will see you sometime midweek have a good one guys